I, again, we're very early. Uh, the first uh, biosimilar GCSF uh, was was approved just uh, just in recent years. Uh, we now have uh, a, 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 a another uh, biosimilar that was approved as an originator, Tebow filgrastum, and two true biosimilars in the U.S. F forms of filgrastum, and now just over the last few months, approval of the long-acting filgrastum, peg filgrastum, uh, which uh, has been available uh, in, in Europe, but now is also available in the U.S. But this is, this is brand new data. And in fact, in many institutions, uh, it's not even available yet as the drug gets uh, distributed. So the only data we have is from the filgrastum uh, originator, uh, originator versus the Philgrastum SNDZ, uh, which was approved a couple of years ago. And the data there suggests there's been rapid uptake of the biosimilar Philgrastum. Uh, at least half, maybe two thirds of the utilization of GCSF in the United States has switched from the original drug to the biosimilar. The impact and cost is more challenging. And again, very preliminary data. Uh, but as I alluded to, perhaps showing around a 10 to 12 percent decrease in price over the first year or two of the use of the, of the biosimilars. One will expect, again in Europe they've seen this, with time and with more and more competition, more and more biosimilars, uh, there will be further reductions in pricing, uh, perhaps to the extent of 20 to 30 percent decrease.